for this board to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Responses, I do. I do. Okay, thank you. Uh, floor is yours. If you would uh, like to give us a rendition here, we had a continuation from uh, right. the last meeting. Uh, um, well, as you can see, we're supposed to build a garage, and yeah. we're trying to keep the in the conservation away from the conservation land and keep the garage the size that we would prefer without modifying the front look of the garage. We understand that we are over the setback on the front right corner by three, I do believe it's two and a half or three feet on the corner, it's in about five feet, and that's all we're looking for for the variance. Just the front little corner of that, mm -hmm. rather than have the grass built and have the jog in and then back out to keep the look of the house with a nice, clean look and presentable. Okay. Uh, I think we, we heard those arguments uh, the last uh, the meeting, and uh, we went through board members at that time, and you heard some of our concerns. Uh, have you done any? Thoughts and regards of concerns and re like uh, uh, reducing the size, the footprint, uh, shifting it, uh, uh, the garage, or something like that. And I, I, I think at that time we noted it uh, quite quite a large uh, right, garage. Right. Yes. And we said, you know, uh, for uh, a difference of uh, what is it, 1.6 feet that you're into the side yard setback. There should be a way, architecturally or whatever, if you talk to your architect, right. that you might be able to shift that back. And uh, that, uh, I, I think we looked at where the wetlands were, and it doesn't appear that the wetlands impact the location of where your garage is at all. Uh, hey, the wetlands are in the back? In the, uh, yeah, in yes, the, uh, they're somewhat directly behind it. Yeah, and they're, so. they're towards the back and they're towards the, the <coughs> other side of the house from where the garage was going uh, on that. Yeah. And uh, I think we noted, you know, it didn't seem like that was a uh, valid argument, at least, it, at least to my thoughts it was. Maybe some of the other board members had something different. But. So is there any, have you thought any, any thoughts in reducing the size of the garage? Uh, we did look into... Um shifting the entire structure back. Mm -hmm. um, the problem that we run into there is where the attachment to the existing structure is. Um, it's a small corner toward the back of the home mm -hmm. where the garage is going to um, actually attach so that you can, from the garage, enter the home. Um, so there would be a significant cost to, to modify that. So we really need to keep, keep the attachment point where it is. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so bas basically what you're saying is you don't want to make any changes to what you proposed uh, from, from two weeks ago. Uh, you want the board to move forward on your original appeal yeah. and make a decision to see Mm-hmm. I mean, we've, we've looked at the architectural plan. Oh, okay, well, I'll go through individual <coughs> board members again. And, yeah, I was uh, not here at the meeting, so. Right, apologize. right. We, we understand that. Uh, I'm sure it was reported to you maybe what our concerns were uh, in regards to that. Uh, and we, we did look at the architectural plans uh, on, the, on that. And that's what I was saying. Uh, you know, to my way of thinking, it looked like you know, it could be reduced at least by, you know, the minimal amount that it's encroaching into the side yard setback, and it wouldn't cause a hardship. David, uh, any further comments on this? Um, you know, <laughs> uh, I mean, we, we, we went through this last time. Yeah. You were here. I think everybody gave it. All the board members had their questions answered. Claude just went through what he suggested as as a repetition of what possible alternatives there might be. Um, but to be clear, uh, on matters of variances, while this board, I think, goes above and beyond and offers suggestions to the applicants, the only real question before us tonight is does your application meet the four criteria uh, to obtain a variance? 
Um, and I think you've seen and heard from what the board had to say last time and perhaps even today um, where some members might be leaning on in that regard. Um, and I, you know, I just wanted the record to be clear. Thank you. John? Uh, I, I um, would, would have the same uh, comments as uh, David had mentioned. Uh, since you're moving forward on the, on the um, request that you've made before the board on variances, variances are very difficult. Chapter 40 is very specific. If you don't meet the four requirements, you don't get the variance as far as the board is, as far as the state is concerned. It is not our dictate to follow the rules of Chapter 48, National Laws. We offered uh, a couple of options for you last time. Um, both of which would allow you to build without coming before this board, but not in the location and not in the size that you've offered. Both of those options um, were discussed, but you have chosen this evening to go forward on what you have. So I, I think it's, again, very clear that, um, at least in my mind, you, you cannot meet the first two requirements of the four requirements needed. So um, I can't see. F I don't I don't agree with the 1.3 1, 1. feet because I've been told it's not 1.3 feet. If it's only 1.3 feet for us to move it back, then I would consider that. I was told it wasn't. So it's 1.6. It, 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 it says 13.4 feet from the property line. You have to be 15 feet. So that would be 1.6 feet. So if you moved it 1.6 feet, to the west. Oh, okay. You mean close it in? Yeah, not towards, back. The, towards the house. No, we're not no. talking the back. Okay. I, 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 I thought you meant, what in, what I thought you meant to the back. Yeah, what, uh, in, what encroaches that. is that front right. easterly corner of the garage by 1.6 feet. Okay. And so that's why we suggested, if I'm not mistaken, you had a double opening in that garage and then there was a doorway there. Um, uh, it was just one single 16 foot it, Yeah, okay. I, I, yeah. yeah, I know we had the architectural plans here, but uh, what, whatever. It's 27 and a half feet wide. So if you made that garage, instead of 27 and a half, take off of 1.6 feet. So that would be 25.9 feet wide almost 26 feet wide, which is a double garage. Okay. Uh, but if, if you guys rule on it, we can still go ahead with the process as long as we uh, pass that setback line, correct? Yeah. Because what we can do, we can also move it in and move it out further if I move it over some more and make it a little bit bigger in the front there. Yeah. yeah. I can jog it in. For sure. The I mean, that's why I, I just didn't like, the, personally, I didn't like the way it looks, but if that's what I have to do, that's what I have to do. Right, right. It's, well, I think you can kind of get uh, the flavor from, from the board members here. Variance is very difficult to get, and you have to meet the four criteria uh, for okay. granting a variance. And to our way of thinking, or at least to, to our, at least one board member's way of thinking, two board members, myself, uh, it's going to be very difficult to meet the first criteria okay. uh, on that. Uh, so. You have a couple of choices tonight. Now, if you move that, you shift that, the 1.6 feet, and you're 15 feet from your property line, you don't even need to come before the zoning board. Okay. You would just need a building permit, as long as that was 15 feet from the property line. We would so confirm you, that with Clint, obviously, with the building inspector. That's what, yeah, but, that's what the, right. it was, 15 foot. Yeah. So your options tonight, then, are we can continue and vote on the application before us. You can, re I guess you could request a continuation and discuss it with your architect, see if it's possible to take, you know, shift that over 1.6 feet, talk to the building inspector, and then come back to us. <coughs> or you could withdraw your whole application tonight, assuming that you're gonna you know, be able to move the 1.6 feet and 
withdraw your application without prejudice. We'll do. And it's up to you. We'll if you withdraw. if we vote tonight and it's declined, it's not approved, you could not come back to us with a proposal for a garage if you needed a special permit. You could not come back to us for a period of two years. We'll just withdraw it. You, so that's your preference is to withdraw without prejudice tonight. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, so th that is going to be your, your official stand then, withdraw yes. without prejudice, and we can go ahead. Uh, we have heard the applicant tonight. Uh, he's asking for a withdrawal without prejudice in this particular case. Uh, do I hear a motion from a board member? I'll make a motion that the board approve the applicant's uh, request to withdraw case 1609 without prejudice. Do I hear a second? Second. John Dream a second. Uh, all those in favor of the applicant's request to withdraw without prejudice, raise your hand. Five zero zero. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. And building inspectors should be able to help you out if, if you've been down into town hall here. And as I would suggest, talk with your architect and then come back to the building inspector and it's a small shift and you should be able to do it then. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bob, do, yes. we, do we typically write withdrawals up only if the case has been opened or uh, all in, in all respects? Well, in this particular case, uh, I think we probably should because we do not have anything from the applicant in writing. So I think we should just a shot paragraph on That's something fine. like that. I'll take care of it. Will you? We okay. sure. We've had uh, a number of these before and I think there was a form, not a form, but a... There used to be a form here uh, and yeah, well, the applicant has left so we couldn't get him to sign it anyway. But, uh, no, but I mean when I say form... Um, what would I say? Uh, there was. Maureen had request. made up a form. You fill in the blanks with the date, basically, what you're requesting. Basically, the, it can be done right here, and, and yeah. the chairman can just sign. Not, not in there. No, no, no. Okay. It wouldn't be in there. Uh, Maureen called it. With, with that. Well, it's the same. Honest. I'll write. But, I can write a short. But, Dave, Dave okay. I would keep it very short. A couple sentences. Uh, you know, we opened the meeting, continued it, and... The applicant requested to withdraw without prejudice. Okay, fine. Will do. Okay, thank you. And at Good night, this time, uh, David is uh, recusing himself from the next case. Uh, thank you, David, for coming. Uh, be right with you. Let me write up this past case here, the notes on that, and then we'll get to uh, the next one. Now, for this particular case, uh, Nick will be voting since uh, we lost our, one of our regular members. Uh, so we do have five members here tonight, so uh, Nick will be voting on this. Uh, and this is a complete new case. So let me go ahead and read the legal notice, and we'll go from there. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals will hold a public hearing in the Selectman's Meeting Room at Town Hall, 16 Lowell Street, Reading, Massachusetts, on Thursday, June 2nd, at 7 p.m., on the petition of Chris Barkowski, right? Yeah. 
who seeks a special permit under section 7.3.2 of the zoning bylaws in order to construct a rear deck 14 feet by 12 feet with a sideline setback of 10.8 feet rather than the required setback of 15 feet on the property located at 27 Woodward Avenue, Woodward Avenue in Reading, Massachusetts. Unless there is an objection, I will dispense with the reading of the abutters list, except to say that the abutters were notified, as were the following. Board of Selectmen, Town Clerk, Police Department, Fire Department, Building Department, Conservation Commission, Health Department, Assessor's Office, Engineering Division, CPDC, members and associate members of the Board of Appeals as well as the planning boards of Wakefield, Linfield, North Reading, Stoneham, Woburn, and Wilmington. Now, testimony given before this board is taken under oath. So if you think you may want to speak tonight, please stand and raise your right hand, and I'll swear you in. Okay, this is anybody who may want to speak, feel free. Uh, I swear the testimony given by me before this board will be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Response is, I do. Okay, thank you. Okay, in this particular case, let's see, this is number 12. This, we, and I, I'll explain it here for, for people from the public, people on TV here may want to know. Uh, this is a similar case that was brought to us um, uh, back in April of this year. Case number 1607, and at that time, the board approved a request for a farmer's porch on the premises and denied a, the petition for a special permit for a deck on the back. And the petitioner has refiled for a deck on the back of the house under this case number 16-12. And we've received some guidance from uh, town council on this because typically when a case is not approved, that precludes the applicant from coming back for a two-year period unless there is a significant change to the proposal uh, on that. So the first thing we have to do tonight is uh, by a vote of the board uh, vote whether there has been specific and material changes to the conditions upon which the previous unfavorable action was based and we have to describe such changes in the record of our proceedings so looking at the case tonight the board has to first thing we have to do is are we going to hear the case as there have been specific and material changes in the proposal uh, personally I, I looked at it looked at the previous case that we had uh, on that I was not there for that one I was out uh, sick that night but uh, to me it is a significant change or a specific change to it uh, it's a reduction of the deck by the reduction in area by 40% uh, on that. Yes, uh, yep. From from looks like what was looked at on what was it April 2nd or something like that. <laughs> yeah, something like that. April, the first month week in April uh, on that. I think John. Well, section 16 of chapter 40A is very specific. Uh, and it says that there are two boards that have to make this come to the same conclusion right. by a vote of four out of five in favor of believing that there is, um, and it's very specific, specific and material changes in the conditions upon which the previous um, was shot down by the, by the right. um, Board of Appeals. So in essence, we could not even hear this case this evening that you have put before us. If this board were to find four out of five in agreement that there are specific and material changes, so we have it would to make then a have to go first. Yeah. It would have to then go to planning or CPDC for them to take a vote and receive four out of five for us to come back 
and actually hear the case. Um, uh, I can sell. I grab the transfer and unless find both. We've had these before. Oh, have you? Okay. Uh, well, I've sat on a couple of them before. I've never sat on, on one where we've done um, this. So it goes to, now, if we make a finding tonight, four out of five, we can hear the case. No, we can't. Well, that's the way we I could, understood we, we, we could we hear could the case. Subject to. Subject to. CPDC after we hear the case and make in our opinion or, or whether it be favorable or unfavorable correct it would have to go to CPDC for a, their hearing and have to have a majority vote four out of how, how many is on CPDC five, five. yeah four so they'd have five. to have four out of five on CPDC Super majority in both of us uh, well more than a majority four out of no, five super majority super majority yeah okay uh, on that. So that's the way I understood it that we could hear tonight if we make a finding in, uh, favor. in favor of hearing the case, we don't have to wait for CPDC to make a, a finding. But, but it would not be official. But it would not be official until CPDC does. They would both have to go to that. that. So you have to go to both boards now that you've done this. Okay? Okay, you want, you which understand we, that? Which we, we, we talked about this back in April, the two-year aspect of it. If you asked us to go forward and we denied it, you couldn't come back for two years. There is a provision in 40A that you can come back, but you have to be able to prove this to both boards before it could go move forward. That there's been, you know, significant, specific and material changes in the conditions. Yeah, so you have to prove that to both boards is, is what it is. We'll make our findings on that. So I, I saw the plan, and I could do. It. Would you Would you like to comment on this now? Uh, sure. What the changes were, and how how you consider them to be specific and uh, right. You know. I mean, I, I think you know, um, as you mentioned, a, a forty percent reduction in the deck is. Um, I, I feel it's very significant. Um, you know, I think last time at, a, at our hearing. Um, there was talk of reducing the size of the deck. Um, you know, we, uh, you know, um, we reduced it by 40 percent. Um, I, I think it's, it's significant. I think it pulls it right back into the house. Um, we're not extending beyond the addition that bumps out in the back. Um, you know, we're we're less than four feet above the uh, the finished grade. It's not a roof structure. Um, I feel like we've made significant improvements to the lot since purchasing it by removing a detached garage which did not meet the uh, rear setback requirements. Uh, we're maintaining the look of the house within the neighborhood. We're, we're you know, Im improving the look of the neighborhood, curb appeal. Um, I, I feel like a 40% reduction in the square footage of, of the deck is a significant amount. Mm-hmm. How do you do your calculations on that? Uh, it was, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 14, 14 20, feet wide by 20, 20 feet 20, long. Yeah. Now we reduced feet. it by 8 feet, the length of it. Yep, which brings it down to 160 feet, so it's about a third, not, a, not 40%. Uh, what about you got 12 feet, <coughs> it was 20 feet, so that means 8 feet less. Yeah, but you're talking about square footage. We're not talking about well, it, it, but the width stays the same, so the it isn't going to. I don't believe it changes. Any anyway. What about the setback? That was a concern last time. Is that still a concern? Mm-hmm. That's why that's why he needs special permit. Is that the setback is 10.8 feet from the property line? He hasn't changed that. But the house is also 10.8 feet, so he is not increasing the non-conformity of the setback. It's already a non-conforming setback of 10.8 feet. Right, so because it was grandfathered way back when, you're continuing with that capability to be... Yes, to that's the way the bylaws are written, yes, in town. And, and that was for, you, you hit it right on the nose, for a lot of these houses, in town, 
were constructed before zoning bylaws were even in place in town. And so consequently, they put in provisions that these older houses would be grandfathered. You know, you just can't ask somebody to chop five feet off their house if they had built it 10 feet from the property line that's and there was no that's, that's, law then. But that's the thing that's already built. But this is something that hasn't been built yet. No, the house already, the house is there. Yes. And it's 10.8 feet yes. from the property line. The deck is going to be 10.8 feet from the property line. <coughs> it is not increasing the nonconformity. The nonconformity is going to stay as it is, 10.8 feet. That's that's a given, yeah. So it's not increasing the nonconformity, and the bylaws allow you to do that with a special permit. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah, I think ju just to add on to that, um, the special permit request is for the 4.2 foot strip of deck, um, and again, a significant change. Uh, it's you know we're not only taking the eight feet off of that 4.2 section we're reducing the whole deck which was previously permitted at 20 feet um, we're, we're pulling in that whole deck that isn't into any setbacks um, that's why we feel it's it's a significant well, that's, change okay that's that's what when i was reading it here and it, i was not here for the first mm -hmm. first meeting here i was a bit confused when i saw your application in your, you, you were discussing this 4.2 increase, uh, or what, what you just noted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where does this come from? I don't see anything on the plan that notes a 4.2. Uh, right. right. Is, it the, is there a deck there now that is you're it, increasing by 4.2 feet? When I pulled the original permit, I received the permit for that 10... 10 foot by 20 foot deck that is not into the setback. Okay. So, so the only section of the deck that required the special permit was that 4.2 okay. by 20 feet. Okay. Um, I see what you're getting at. Yeah. 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 So, okay. So, yeah, you you could you could build a deck 15 feet from the property line without being here. Sure. Right. But right. you want to be that 4.2 additional feet to match up with the end of your house. Sure. And yeah. just, just because, you know, the, that's our dining room, and in the yeah. back we put in a double slider. Sure. So that, that four point, you know, the, where my 15-foot setback is, and I think it's shown on the architectural drawing, it's right in the middle of one of the door panels going out to the deck, mm -hmm. and not ideal. Um, that's why we wanted to push right. it out flush with the edge of the house. Yeah, no, I understand, I understand. It's basically that's the encroachment into the side yard setback is the 4.2 sure. feet, but the house already encroaches that much into it, and that's why you're allowed by a special permit to come before the board yep. and get a, ask for a special permit to build the deck no closer than what's already there, which is 10.8 feet yes. from the property. Yep. Yes. But if you look, Mr. Chairman, on the uh, decision that was written up on it, the reason why the board voted the way it did. Yeah. Um, if you look at the last section, um, I'm sorry, next to the last paragraph on page two. Mm-hmm. Uh, After board discussion, yeah. public comment, yeah. The elevation of the deck is about four feet off the ground, and uh, the petition of Mr. Walsh, who I think is here this evening, uh, was concerned about um, the uh, uh, being adjacent to the uh, um, being directly he's a direct abutter and he's ad adjacent to the um, the proposed deck and was concerned about the noise and the privacy that he would receive um, and I think uh, this was a, a major issue that when you go back and look at 632 um, in essence the section that indicates that uh, this is not any more substantial uh, detriment to the neighborhood than the existing nonconformity building and building structure. Mm -hmm. So when we talked about that, I think a couple of board members were concerned about the privacy issue and the height of the deck uh, being four feet above and being right next to the Walsh's. Um, 
structure itself. Mm -hmm. um, what 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 makes what makes you think a deck is going to be conducive to a lot of noise? I mean, yeah, you sit on your deck, you sit on your front porch, you, you know. Would you need a deck to make a lot of noise? No. So so what you you're kind of saying is this this proposed deck is conducive to a lot of noise coming from the property. Well, he could he could not build a deck, have a family reunion, have a graduation party, and still have a lot of noise. But actually, it's we're not. But we're not. We're not talking about whether this is appropriate or not at this point. The board needs to make a finding that right. this this is uh, specific and material changes in the post mm -hmm. proposal that this. Uh, a case number right. 1612 right. is substantially different. I agree, John. So that's the first thing we that's have to do first tonight have to is do. make a finding. Correct. And, you know, you just say, hey, are we all set? Uh, and well, I, 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 the, board you know, the other board members need to talk about this too. Right. I mean, if, if we're going we, to, that's the first thing we have to do is make the finding before right. we can move any f further. Right. Exactly. Uh, Before we move forward, Before right, we, we have to. And certainly in this particular situation, I don't find that this is a substantial, um, substantially specific and material change than what we originally heard. And I know it's difficult to come in, like yourself, who wasn't here for the first hearing, and look at that. I, I think well, I, re I read the first decision. Okay. And looking at the plan, uh, I, I, I think it is. A, it's, a, it's a substantial reduction to the... I haven't opened it up for public comment yet, ma'am. So, uh, I think it's a substantial reduction to what was originally proposed there. But, okay. Sai, what would you, would you con like to comment on this? Yeah, I would. Yes. Uh, it is a substantial change. I mean, going from 14 by 20 to 14 by 12. That's a significant change in size, and I would agree with Chris here, it is, it is about a 40% reduction mm. in square footage. In fact, it's almost exactly it's exactly 40% percent percent. Yeah. reduction in square footage. That's significant uh, by any standard. And, uh, of course, I was one of the people that the last time we, uh, we voted on this thing that I was in, affir in the affirmative then. I'm even more so in the affirmative now. I certainly shared your concern the last time about the concern for noise, perhaps because a 14 by 20 foot deck is a big deck, and you could throw a lot of parties on a big deck, okay? Uh, but this has been significantly reduced to not a big deck anymore. It's a kind of standard deck you might find on any house. So I don't know. I'd like in the public session, I'd like to hear your comment on the on the change at that point, okay? Not at this time. So I'll just leave it at that. Sure, Eric. Uh, I believe that it qualifies as a uh, substantial change, so I'm in favor of making that ruling. Make, making a finding mm -hmm. tonight on this, yes. Yep. Nick? So it's, it's definitely a change, mm -hmm. um, but for me it's, it's substantial in what regards, and for me, my, I'm looking at it in regards as it's not a patio, it's an elevated platform for about four feet off the ground where there's going to be entertainment going on. I mean, if I was a neighbor, I would feel like I don't have recourse to provide privacy against that if there's a deck right there closer to the property line um, with people essentially looking down at me. Um, so for me, it wasn't so much about the square footage as it was it's the use. Personally, I feel it's a substantial change from what was originally proposed back in April. Uh, I don't think the four foot is much different from what any other first story deck is. That's basically to the height of your foundation or your first floor above, above ground level is four feet. You can come out to that. It, it's, it's a typical deck, first story deck. Uh, on that, I, I like your, you know, you did know he could have a patio. He could, he could go out, he could go out tomorrow now without any permit and build a 40 by 40 foot patio out back and have all kinds of parties on that. It, it's, you know, when do we start governing, 
you know, noise here and stuff. I don't think it's a substantial detriment to the neighborhood, but that's, I think what we're talking, we, let's get, we got to make a finding here. Yes. That's what we're doing. Uh, so if we're ready, uh, unless you would comment, we will go ahead and vote and uh, we'll, somebody will make a motion and uh, we will make a finding whether this is a uh, specific and material change from what was presented in April. And if so, if it's passed, we will hear the case. If not, that's the end of it. Yeah, I think so you could withdraw. Uh, I suppose you could continue the case. You could continue it if you like. Or you could withdraw without prejudice. Uh, you've heard the board members tonight, and the first thing we have to do is make a finding in regards to the change from the previous, uh, you know, the, the specific changes from the previous proposal in April. So, kind of, it's it's back to you now. What you would like yeah. may like to do. Yeah. Um, would you like to? Take a two-minute recess yeah. and discuss it outside. Please, yeah. Yeah. Sure, you, you you go outside and discuss it. We'll we'll recess for two minutes.
Okay. Uh, so the question comes back. Would you like us to proceed in making a finding, or have you decided to go another track? I think um, just want to mention something. I think it's a mixed point with the, uh, with the four-foot height. Um, we have brought the deck back eight feet. Um, I, I don't believe we're exactly four feet. I believe we're about three eight. The property does taper down a little bit towards the end mm -hmm. just because of the existing grade. So it does bring it closer to four feet. But coming off the house, we're about, because we're, we're not coming out flush with the house, we're dropping it down seven inches. So we're somewhere around three foot six coming off the house. Um, I think since our last meeting, we did throw the idea of around of putting in like a patio set downstairs, a stone patio, at which point, you know, now between uh, John's house and our house, there's just a patch of land um, that, you know, eventually if we do do a patio, which I think it might be in, you know, in the plans for next year, we would like to plant some kind of shrubbery. Um, to separate the two properties. Um, on John's property, there is, you know, directly next to our property is his garage. Um, I believe John's patio is on the other side of the garage coming off of his house. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's an old neighborhood, it's a small neighborhood. The houses are, you know, we don't have the luxury of having acre lots. Um, right. I, I, I just, I honestly, I, I just, I, I don't know where else to go with this after after this. You know, it's you know a significant change is not only shrinking the the setback on the you know the, the length of the deck on the setback. I mean, we brought the whole deck back, which you know we could build and had a permit for it. Um, we're bringing everything back, tied it to the house. There are you know. Kathy is, is our neighbor in the back. There is a, a row of, of uh, shrubs planted, you know, between her property and, and our property. Um, as far as noise, um, I think the neighbor, you know, directly behind us has an in-ground swimming pool, which, I mean, I've been working on the house pretty much every day, and you do hear them, you know, that they have little kids, their kids have little kids, you do hear them. I mean, we have little kids, they're gonna be out on the swing set, they're gonna be playing. Um, I just, it, it just, I, I just don't know where else to go with this, you know? I mean, we, we've made changes, it's, you know, 40% reduction in the deck, you know, we're, we're maintaining the look of the house, we've made the lot more conforming by removing the detached garage. So it's, it sounds like what you're saying is you would like to continue tonight, and number one, our first step is to make a finding here, whether we should, whether we should go ahead and hear this case, or if it's not in the positive, if two out of three members yeah. say it's not a substantial change, sure. that'll be the end of it. We will not hear it. So we can go ahead and make the finding and go from there. I mean... Does does the board have any suggestions of, of anything? I know you guys agree with, with suggestions <laughs> even in, you know, and then the last time we had the case, although. Um, I feel like your suggestions, what you were saying to us back in April is what we've done, <coughs> so here we are tonight, and we're, what do we mean now? Like. Yeah, we've, we've made the changes. We've, we've taken eight feet off the deck. Um, now the issue, I, I don't know. It is if it's too is high. It, yeah, yeah. Is it noise level? Is it too high? It's, it's just. Okay. So it, it, it's, yeah. it sounds like you, you want us to make a finding tonight, and then we'll continue from there. I mean, that's the choices. E sure. either, either we go ahead tonight, and the first step is make a finding, and whether this is a a, a specific material change from what was presented before, or you ask for continuation, which would still have to make this finding sure. if you continued, or you would withdraw without prejudice and try something else. So that's it. We, we, we can continue, sure. but keep in mind, you know, that's the first thing we have to do is is make a finding on on the change 
of what you presented tonight, how it is against the what was so originally declined, yeah. yeah, was not approved in the original proposal. step I mean it was seven inches below the first floor of the house I mean if we well let's we'll see that yeah. this <laughs> this is now we're getting into yeah. what you might say if if you put a condition yeah. on what you have here now now we're getting into hearing the case <coughs> and right now we have to make a finding <coughs> of what's presented sure. and what's presented is is on the plan the size of it is uh, you know, 14 feet by 12 feet, and that's basically what we're making a finding. Is that a substantial change or a significant change from what was presented before? And I think you've heard, you know, basically the five board members are going to vote on this, what their thoughts were. And you need to, the board needs to, to continue this, needs to carry this by a vote of four to one. Super majority, super majority. Or five zero. <laughs> or five zero, right. Four one or five zero. So that's that's the first thing. I think the board is ready to go ahead. Somebody on the board will make a motion and we'll vote on that portion of it, making a finding. All motions are made in the affirmative. Yes. And um, when a motion is made, it is just made for whether this that you have presented tonight so far, without going into hearing the merits of any changes or whatever, is is done. So the board is voting on that. If the board is, as Bob said, if if the board um, does not, you do not receive uh, a four zero or I mean a, a four, four one, one or a five zero. Oh, that means it all ends right here and now. You want to move forward is what you're saying. Uh, if we ask for a continuation, would it be next hearing? Uh, let's see what we have on the agenda for. I think the next hearing is. The next hearing we would have available solid. is July 7th, and I believe we got four cases. We have. No, three. Three No, four. Four. Okay. We just had, we just continued well, one. Well, we just continued one. That's Fairview. 
So okay. that, that that's the one we continue tonight. She already has it on there. So we have uh, a new one a, have and two, two continuations, yeah. right. Can, we have uh, the Norton Road, which we've heard before, and we're going to have to hear that one again. I expect, so you have one I new expect case that wouldn't last too long, that one, but it may. Who knows? Well, we have, in essence, two new ones and two continuances. Yeah. Right. Right now. We mm -hmm. have two continuances and one new one for the seventh right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what we, a decision? What would you like us to do? Yes, sir. Could I make a comment? Yes, yes, you may. Uh, what's going through my mind is that, and I, I hear the discussion about the, the height of the, the platform and the area of the platform. Question for the people around the, on the board. What kind of a deck could they put on here? That would not even require them to be here. Something that sits back. If they that sits huh? back to the 15 foot requirement. Yeah, if they if they made it an eight made it an eight foot deck instead of a 12 and made it a 20 foot deck going backward instead well, of a they no, could because they, they, they wouldn't even have to come they, here, right? They, well, I don't know if it would be 20 feet. Well, but whatever <laughs> it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, what, I, I look at the look at the rear setback. 20 feet. So it wouldn't go back 20 feet. So <laughs> right well, now, I'm just using 30. that as an illustration. Okay, I'm saying, what yeah. size deck could they put in there where they wouldn't even have to come back to us? And I realized that reducing the size down to eight feet messes up your yeah. sliding door situation. Basically, okay. basically, uh, you could you could put a 10 foot deck on it and go back a number, or you could plateau the deck into different levels. There's a, there's a number of issues on the on the deck itself, which they wouldn't even have to come back to the board for. Mm -hmm. Because that would comply with the setback, right? So anything that complies with the setback, they don't need to come back to us. That's the point I'm getting at, though, is that if they did that and it was a four foot, I'm, I'm playing with the height issue. If still, if it's a four, under those conditions and it was a four foot deck, there wouldn't be an issue here, would there? No. No, if they if they complied, wouldn't be an issue no, with height. If they complied with the side setbacks, four feet would not be an issue. But. The amount of but footage the, you're reducing it by isn't going to alter the noise issue either. No. no. What, if there is one. I agree. So I, I'm just saying we're, we're really but making, we're, we're, getting, we're creating yeah. a mushy situation here, and I'm trying to yeah. find a way but, but, but to, we'll, to deal with this. <laughs> I think after the last hearing, I did talk to, to Glenn, and, you know, Glenn mentioned that, you know, I could put a set of stairs basically in that four-foot strip you know, 20 feet long, a set of strips into John's backyard, which would push me out further than my house, into that 10.8 because legally, you know, steps, the, the steps, the steps right. are considered, right. right. And it's just, you know, my my deck traffic basically goes, you know, will be directed between John's and I's house and pushing that line further into that setback. Right. Um, right. And we don't want to do that. and. You know, because of the design of the house, the slider, you know, it's it's that 4.2 foot section of deck that we, you know, to, to have the deck end in the middle of a door going out is, you know. I agree. It sounds, sounds crazy. It sounds a little crazy. Which but, but we're getting into now the case itself. specifics, the case yeah. itself. Mm -hmm. Right now, what we need to focus on is making a finding in is the deck that's presented tonight significantly different from what was presented in April? That's well, basically would, what it comes I, down I, let to. Me, let me make one other comment too, and that is that we, we keep using this word significant. Well, it's the, the legal counsel refers to it as specific, specific and material. And material. Well, it's certainly a specific yeah. change, and it's certainly a material change. Okay? Yeah. There's no question about that, I don't think. So, just want to put that on the table as well. Yeah. I say significant. Yes. The the exact wording is specific and material change. Councils. Yeah. That's that's the way it is in the Bible. 
that's forty eight. That's got nothing that's to do with town council. Right. Forty eight. Yeah. Yeah. Which Citing is state law. Council. State law. Yeah. So uh, that that's what we're finding tonight. Uh, if, if you'd like us to proceed with that finding, we will be more than happy, and then we can discuss what you are proposing for the day. Yeah. I, I think we'd like to proceed with the vote on the the change in material is a specific and material change okay so so we'll go ahead and proceed with making a finding right now yes okay uh, I would entertain a motion to make a finding from a board member then in regards to this particular case tonight uh, in regards to that there is a specific and material change from what was presented and denied in April of this year. I'll take a stand. Uh, and it should be in the positive, yes. as John's saying. So, yeah. Eric, Cy, one of you. I'm happy to take it, Cy, if you want. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Um, I move that the board make a finding that petitioner's application for ZBA case number 16-20, specifically the change in dimensions from the rear back porch to a 14 by 12 deck from a 14 by 20 foot deck, which represents a 40% reduction in the size of the deck, represents a specific in material change from petitioner's prior application uh, ZB, ZBA case number 16-7, which was denied by this board on April 7, 2016. Thank you. Second. Do we have a second on that. Uh, any further questions or additions that a board member would like to note? Or? Uh, I, would, I would like to uh, make mention of something that Nick brought up, and I think it's, we're, we're talking about this, couldn't talk about it before because we weren't to that point. So we're moving ahead on the case. You are looking at a lot that is 20,286 square feet versus a lot that is the immediate above of 6,490 square feet. What, what, what are we talking, John? Lot is what? How big? We're talking about this lot in comparison to the two immediate abutters. You're talking about, and I'm going to the use aspect that Nick brought up. Mm -hmm. You have two very small lots uh, bordering uh, or joining the the property there are no options for these two property owners to do anything that they want to do I, I think that's the area right there 10,355 right on those survey plan it says 10,361 I think that's the lot number in the plat number yeah it's 10 10 10,361 10, feet okay yeah I still I still have the the issue of the relative size of the of this lot in comparison to the other two, there, there is no options for the two major abutters. Actually, this three major, three major abutters that have a very small lot area in comparison mm -hmm. to this. So you're talking about the use um, of the property. I mean, there are other other avenues for this uh, deck that's, that's proposed that. Um, I mean, we've done this a number of times, allowed the applicant to come forward with, with changes. He heard the changes that uh, two of the abutters, a third abutter was not here, or I didn't see the abutters, or they, just, they didn't stand up. Mm -hmm. um, but this is some of the things that uh, go into our section 7.3.2. Is it any different? So. I, I think, you know, going back to the original case, this is what we're looking at. What is the substantial uh, or material, um, significant material changes? Uh, it's, it's basically the use of, of the property um, that you're utilizing in comparison to the, the neighborhood or the immediate abutters, and that's what we heard, and that's what I think that we, we talked about. I, I, I disagree. No, that's, that's fine. I'm just... Yeah. Throwing that out there. I mean, from what was presented before to what's presented now, I believe is basically with the size and what Eric noted. That's fine. It's a forty percent reduction in the deck area. The forty percent reduction, which okay. is a specific material change to the conditions. Okay. Period. That's 
That's it. Any, anyway, okay, so we, we do have a motion on the table. We have it seconded. Yep. Comments, any other comments, board members? If not, we'll take a vote uh, on this now in regards to making a finding that this is a uh, uh, specific and material change. Mm -hmm. What's presented tonight? All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed? Okay, let it show it. Uh, the finding did not pass uh, by a vote of three to two. And opposed was Mr. Jerima and Mr. Pernice. Okay, those in favor were Eric, myself, and Cy. So that's, that's the end of it now. Okay, so we can't hear it anymore. So, sorry. before the board. Oh yeah, uh, Eric, right would you write that up? Sure. Yeah, and I think keep it very short. Oh, yeah. we, obviously, we didn't hear anything right. in regards to the case itself. No, it's just a finding. Just a finding, yeah, yeah on that. I appreciate it, thank sure. you. And uh, since we have no further business tonight, uh, I would take a motion for adjournment. So moved. So moved by side. Do I hear a second? Nick, thank you. All those in favor of adjournment? Thank you. Five zero zero. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, let me just, I'll write this up here Absolutely. and we'll go from there.